show. I'm Jay. And I'm Mark Black. Let's get into it. So Sunday, starting Sunday, pictures starting to pop up of the Game of Thrones prequel. Mm. I'm not sure what the name is, but they have definitely been spotted in California. I and think it was something like House of Dragons or House of Targaryen or something uh, like that. Uh, yeah, I think it was something like House of Targaryen, something like that. But, hey, it's happening. It's mm. happening. Okay. Um, moving right along, the other thing that happened on Sunday that we're not too happy about is um, Josh Duggar, which we guys gave you, um, Duggar, Duggar, whatever, that we gave you guys an update that he was arrested for child porn, basically. Um, he's set to be released, uh, I believe six days after he was arrested. So I don't know, honestly, I, I, it's a mess, but we're still hoping that they'll bring him to justice swiftly. Oh, and honestly, I'm kind of devastated. These guys have been married for like 27 years, but Bill Gates and Melinda Gates announced their divorce. Mm -hmm. Um, Honestly, it's like if they can't make it, where's the hope? Where's the hope, you know? Hey, God bless them. I mean, listen, no matter what, they got more money than God between the wealth of them. So they'll they'll be fine. Everybody will be fine there, okay? Um, moving right along. Also happening on Monday, um, Brittany made a statement pretty much denouncing all of the documentaries because we had the... Mm -hmm. Framing Britney Spears one come out, and now there's another one that's uh, from BBC or something like that. There's a set to be another one coming from Netflix. So she just kind of made a statement and said that it's kind of hypocritical for them to be saying all these things and then making documentaries about her, you know, not from her. So I'm with you, Britney. Hashtag free Britney. Free Britney, y'all. Um, talking about free, honey, something that ain't free on Tuesday, yes. Barcelona's um, main guy, Lionel Messi, his old cleats sell for $173,000. What? What? Okay. I hope that money goes to a good cause or something. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really don't know. I don't really care, but a hundred old cleats. Listen, people are sports fanatics. God bless them. Um, somebody that is not having a good a good week is Peloton. Because on Wednesday, they finally recalled their treadmills, which if you guys were paying attention in the news in the last few weeks, they had a few injuries happening, including one infant death. So it was kind of crazy. There's been some backlash. Some of the people saying like that own Peloton saying that they're still not going to return them. So, I mean, listen, they did their job. They recall them. If you guys choose not to and get hurt on them, that is your wish. Oh, and honestly, Wednesday was not a good day for many because mm -hmm. another person, now we have about 15 women um, coming forth accusing Marilyn Manson of abuse and rape. And this next person is model Ashley Morgan Smithline. And honestly, I don't really know much about her, but the fact that there's still more people and it's like, hey, what's it gonna take? Like, what's it gonna take to just arrest him? Or like at the very least, get him to a point where like something can happen because he, this is literally a predator. He's in a position of power, he has money, he's very influential, definitely to whoever um, appeals to him. So it's like the fact that he's still roaming free, I'm not okay with that. Mm. And somebody who else is not okay with things was Mr. Floyd Mayweather on Thursday because y'all already know, okay? <laughs> Logan Paul was there, he did the whole, was it Logan Paul or Jake Paul that so his brother Jake Paul was the one that so snatched. Jake Paul snatched the hat <laughs> with the, the now the infamous gotcha hat scandal um, and promptly got his shit rocked so 
Um, mm -hmm. Apparently, Floyd gave him a black eye for that. And, you know, now mm -hmm. it's... But the thing with this... Allegedly. Yes. Allegedly. Yeah, so um, the, the thing with this whole uh, just the Paul family is they kind of thrive regardless of the, if the, the, the press is good or bad. And I'm just so over them. Like, we just need to let them disappear. You know what? I'm okay with them because you are making the most of your 15 minutes of fame. And honey, you find me in a position similar, you know I'm just going to stretch that out. <laughs> I'm talking about someone who tried it, mm. who tried to stretch it out. 45, he who shall now be named, no. um, creates a sneaky account. I don't know if he's doing it for the sneaky link. So if he was just like really trying to see if he could get away with it. Well. But Twitter catches him, mm -hmm. flags him down. And it's like, ah, 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 not today, Satan. Okay. So. And, if, and that's another embarrassing strike. Because if y'all don't know, he started his social media platform, which was really just Donald Trump blog so a mess um on friday though mr derek chauvin who we all know as the officer that murdered george floyd and the three off other officers that were involved in his death are being sued for violating his civil rights so there were you know there's several uh kind of protections in the constitution and everything for us like you know, the the right to uh, not be, I, I forget the exact wording right now, but it's basically like the right to be taken in without like crazy force, excessive force. So all of them uh, pretty much different. I think Derek Chauvin has a certain charge. Two of the officers have a charge of like, um, you know, not assisting. And then the last officer has a charge of not seeking medical help. So we shall see. Continue to get justice. R.I.P. George Floyd. Um, and someone who is definitely getting her justice on Saturday, it was announced that Bill and Melinda are evenly splitting mm. down the middle $180 billion with a B. And honestly, a portion of that money can definitely, at the very least, create a starter program to end world hunger. It sounds crazy, but it can work. Or to, at the very least, provide clean water to everyone, including those people in Flint, because yeah. they still don't have clean water. Mm -hmm. um, so that is very much a possibility. And they will still have billions left. Would it be? So I hope that some, yeah, I hope that something good and beneficial to the people comes out of this melinda girl okay melinda. speaking about talk to a nice girl speaking about ben official okay ben Fur is back on apparently allegedly okay so um they they have rumors they they were caught you know linking up and it was just oh we're friends and now apparently they scooted off to montana together so Let's see, let's see. I mean, listen. Jennifer. You know, people grow. They could possibly make it work now. They both have kids. They both have... It's been almost 20 years since they were engaged. So, good luck to them, you know? God bless. Listen, it could be a situation of, like, you just going back to something that you know. Yeah. Unless... Uh, I don't know. Jennifer don't give not one single F, okay? She is all over the board okay she just got out of her engagement and now she's back with an ex fiance Honey, i'm like okay she girl. is a rich man okay she is a rich man do your thing so. girl do your thing girl so that about wraps up our hot topics of the week we are going to jump right into our topic of the week because Things are going down in America, honey. Okay, oops, I knocked over it's my water. It's burning up. Let me tell y'all. America is burning. Okay, all burning. of it, all of it. So all of your fast food joints that you love so much, um, if you guys have seen in the news, the workers are not having it, okay? They are overworked, mm. they are underpaid, and they are working in less than optimal conditions. So some and of you the- you know what's the craziest part? But it's not so crazy because we- I think there's a, a small significant amount of us that kind of realized that capitalism eventually was going to take or lead us to this. Yeah. Eventually it was going to happen because 
the government definitely does not patrol nor do they really care about hospitality employees yeah. like they get paid way below minimum wage like out here in virginia beach i'm sure like the most of some of these bartenders or service makers is like three dollars and 36 cents an hour not yeah. even the 725 dollars an hour that's the minimum wage here in virginia beach yeah it's... so it's like I'm not surprised. I find that whole concept of like, you know, tipped wage workers and the fact that then they're allowed to be t um, paid hourly rates beneath the federal minimum wage, it's complete BS because tips are not guaranteed. So if you can't guarantee me tips, how, how are you going to, you know, assure that I can show up to work every day? It's really just a ridiculous concept. You know, when people try to spin it like, oh, why would I pay somebody $15 an hour to flip hamburgers? Well, in New York City, $15 an hour isn't even enough. Because where do you expect these people that are flipping these hamburgers to live? Do you expect them to live in like, you know, rural Pennsylvania and take a two and a half hour train ride into New York City so they can flip hamburgers for you and then go you know, two and a half hours back home to somewhere where they can afford on that, you know, uh, because some of them, I think in New York City, they make 15, but outside of New York City, like even in Yonkers, Westchester County, they're allowed to make less than that. They're making 11, $12 an hour. And these places are not cheap to live. Nowhere in New York City can you live making less than like $52,000 a year, you know, as a single person. So mm -hmm. forget about, you know, if you're multiple people, if you have dependents. So I, I'm, I'm here for it, honestly. I think that, you know, if they're going to keep being allowed to raise rents every year just because, you know, you sign a one-year lease and then they're allowed to r legally raise your rent mm -hmm. 20%, you know, the next year. And it's like, why? You didn't do anything. You didn't up my amenities. You didn't do any of, of this stuff that would merit an increase and yet they're just allowed to do it it's the same thing with college every year that we were in college every year that technology fee that admittance fee it went up oh. and they didn't do anything the computers didn't get nicer every semester that i went there you know and it's 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 the the evil side of capitalism because obviously everybody knows the the magic side where you can go from nothing to something and that's great but somewhere along the lines <laughs> president reagan um they started manipulating everything to benefit the rich people and create this whole trickle down economics that never trickled down to us and it's it's just ridiculous honestly i i i, I encourage everyone you know, um, I heard that McDonald's workers are going on a strike in like 15 states on, I believe, May 15th or 17th. So look out for that, guys. If you if you love you McDonald's, like make sure thing? you get your McDonald's before then. OK, you know, it's like the craziest thing. Like, I don't think people realize that. I don't think consumers realize that these workers are so underpaid or undervalued because it's not just underpayment, it's just undervalued as a whole because you're, as a whole, you don't care about this person enough to pay them what they deserve and yet you expect them to do everything that you want for less than what they deserve and you know it, they know it, everyone knows it and it's like this like you can't expect quality work and then not receive payment. I had this yeah. conversation earlier at my job because I strongly believe that there is a gap. There's definitely a gap. And I think it's definitely educational. It's definitely training. Um, stop it. <laughs> it's <laughs> Sorry, product It's placement. definitely training. I mean, I mean, we know it's training for the gaps. Yeah. There's always training for the gaps. Okay. Um, but. If that doesn't happen, how do you expect people to know how to work these jobs or how to do these things at an efficient manner? And then it's like, not everyone, I agree, not everyone is worth $25 an hour to flip burgers, you know? But why not pay that to the people that are definitely worth it? 
like why not take the time to scope them out because i i do see a lot of just like cattle herding and just like i believe that the same way that they make legislations to say like oh for low income housing you can't make this much and get you know an apartment in low income housing because this is the limit i believe every state should have an equivalent law to minimum wage workers so therein, mm -hmm. a minimum wage worker working 40 hours a week should be able to afford a studio apartment or a one bedroom apartment, okay? And still have some money left over after paying their rent to survive, to buy groceries, to think. Now you- And see, even that, you, you're opening up a can of worms because now you're you're delving into like the real issue, which is quality of life and cost of living. Like, listen, my thing is, can... as long as they hit a baseline, that's that's my thing. To establish legally establish a baseline to say, hey, if we're gonna make the minimum wage because it's uh, it's done in other you know powerful countries. Other countries. Switzerland has mm -hmm. a twenty two dollar minimum wage. Okay, Norway. Uh, I'm sorry, New Zealand has a twenty. Three dollar minimum wage. It's it's based on the cost of living, you know. So people that work in McDonald's over there, they make twenty something dollars. And guess what? I'm sure a Big Mac might be more expensive. But who are these people that are so worried about the cost of Big Macs? You know, destroying their wallets and their budgets. Why the fuck are you eating McDonald's that much? Like. You know what I mean? Okay? And I love McDonald's. Don't get me wrong. As much as it's bad for you and we shouldn't be eating it, my fat ass eats them chicken nuggets. Okay? I love them. So, I understand. But, let's be real. You know, the, the system has people tore up to think that they should be mad at these poor fast food workers for wanting to have a livable wage when really you should be mad at the top 1% for manipulating the system and, and sending all their money to these offshore accounts where they never get taxed at. If they got taxed appropriately. And you know it's like, and where this is happening, it's like people don't understand also that like a lot of these franchises, these owners don't even own them outright. Mm -mm. Like they still owe so much money to like the big corporations like McDonald's, Wendy's, those big guys. They still have to pay them out because they have to pay for that signage. Yeah. You know, so it's like they're not even helping themselves fully. It's like it's all it has to be regulated. It has to be regulated. That's it. That's it. OK. And I think we can end on that note right there. Stand with your fast food workers. Stand with your your compadres. OK, let's get 15 as a baseline for an update get organized here. okay we if love you're you one guys. of those people that are striking get organized okay. love you